Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to learn how you can edit your videos in Premiere Pro using a potted computer. Yes, you can edit the video in Adobe Premiere Pro using your old laptop or computer. And today we are going to see how we can do that. Here I have already opened the project that we have made earlier. And if I play it back, I have already applied some color grading effect on that. You can see if I go to effects control panel and here there are some color effects this effect will make your video playback much harder for the computer right if i play it back hey guys this is you see the video is lagging right content creator i've been learning it is not playing back time, smoothly you can see there are some stuttering most of the thing from so different. when you want to edit the video you have to play back the video properly otherwise you will not able to edit the video perfectly right you will get bored to have a better playback on adobe premiere pro you can just select the preview resolution from here you can lower the resolution i've selected the full resolution but if you lower the resolution maybe one by four then if i play it back hey guys this is james i'm yeah, an indie filmmaker back and properly creator. right i've been but learning filmmaking if for you're a long still time, using a very very old computer or laptop then maybe your computer will not able to play back the video if you use one by four resolution if you lower the resolution still it will not able to play back the video for that kind of scenario what you can do you can create proxy so what is proxy proxy is actually a replica of your exact same video so when you are editing a 4k video your computer is not able to play back the video right but if you using proxy editing technique then premiere pro will make a separate copy of your exact same video in a lower resolution so that your computer will able to play back the video properly when you are editing the video that is exactly what we want right Let's go to your timeline and select the clip that we want to make a proxy copy this is my video and this is a 4k video this one is not a 4k video this is a 1080p video i want to make a proxy copy for this video i have to right click here and then i have to click on this reveal in project and then it will reveal the clip on my project window and from here i have to right click again then i have to select proxy if you click create proxy then this window will appear and from here you have to change some settings from the format section you can change it to h.264 or quicktime i have found that quicktime is much easier for your processor to play it back so i'm selecting quicktime and the preset you can select the resolution that you want from my experiment i have found that prores medium resolution works perfectly well for me but if your computer is too old to play back that video then you can select prores low resolution proxy right i'm selecting prores medium resolution proxy and then you have to select destination folder where you want to save the folder you can select next to the original media file or you can click here and then you can select a separate file i'm selecting a separate folder maybe here i'm naming it maybe proxy i'm selecting this folder then i have to click select folder and from here i have to click on this ok button then premiere pro will make a proxy it will transcode the video to make the proxy and it will utilize premiere pro media encoder if your computer don't have media encoder then you have to install that software to enjoy this feature so here you can see premiere pro already fired up media encoder and it is transcoding the video it is actually converting the video in a much lower resolution so it is already completed to premiere pro here you can see Premiere Pro has already added a icon which is proxy icon. If I play it back using the full resolution, hey guys, this is James. I'm you can see the video is still uh, lagging, right? Because we haven't enabled the proxy view. To enable the proxy view, you have to go here, which is program window, and from here you have to click on this button editor, and from here you have to click and drag this toggle proxy icon here, and then click OK and from here you have to click on this toggle proxy icon click here and see the icon on our cliff has already changed it is changed from gray to blue right and now if i play it back it will play back much much smoothly hey guys, this if is i play it back an indie you can see it is playing creator. back very smoothly using full time, resolution right so that is the exact process that you can follow to edit your video on a lower end computer or a older computer it will make your life much much easier sometimes some camera make the proxy copies of the file when that is recording uh, automatically on your sd card in that kind of scenario you can attach the proxy file without transcoding it so to attach a existing proxy file you have to click here on your 
video then you have to go to here proxy and then you can attach the proxy from here then you have to select where the file is located then click on attach button that will attach the proxy automatically you don't need to make a proxy copy again on adobe premiere pro so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Goodbye.